it's homebrew coming at you with another beer review got another fun one I always have fun ones don't I but this is a particularly fun one because this is one that was specially given to Christian and I uh, this was given to us from the owner of the brewery and a brewmaster and all rights by himself Chris Edinger Christian Edinger and uh, this is from Hopworks Urban Brewery and it's their Belgian style Abbey Ale. Uh, Chris Edinger, I'm a big fan of his, as is Christian, my son. Uh, he was the uh, famed brewer that really uh, brought uh, Laurelwood, one of our favorite breweries, into prime time where they won a lot of world awards and he was awarded a Brewmaster Award for the size of brewery that they had. Nice, nice man. Gave us a personal tour of the brewery and uh, sent us off with a bunch of great beer. So I'm going to work my way through the wax and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, this is a Belgian ale. Now it doesn't say if it's a Belgian dark or a golden, but this is going to be a dark. There's no question. I gave it a nice, uh, generous pour. So we've got almost a two finger head, I guess you'd say there. Um, uh, <laughs> with a really rocky head. Um, it's a beautiful rocky head. Don't know if I can get, get a look on there for you. And the color on this is kind of a, a, a deep amber, almost a little bit copper in color actually. Um, really beautiful looking, looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. <laughs> okay. Um, not super strong, but a cacophony of aromas. Um, because uh, I was getting these like sweet scents, kind of like uh, uh, candy sugars, you know, like Belgian candy sugar. But I was also getting uh, uh, all these lighter fruits coming through, um, like apple, like a crisp apple and, and some other things. I'm going to get a little another nose on here. Wow, yeah, okay. And now I'm getting hit with some darker aromas. Um, really... Uh, some nice sweet malt on there, bready smelling malts. Um, I'd also say uh, I was getting like uh, like the golden raisins off of that. Boy, that those apple and pear aromas just are are bright and all over the place. I think I get like a hint of like a honeydew type melon. I think that pretty much sums it up, you know. It's got almost a honey-esque flavor, but I think that's more of the honeydew melons. You got these really nice malts in there, like sweet malts with the uh, Belgian candy, you know, some apple, some pear, um, possibly some stone fruit on that. Um, really, really nice smell. So cheers, we can get a taste on this. Oh, that's almost indescribably pleasant. <laughs> it's not a heavy beer. It it comes off almost light. Actually, there's some nice effervescence coming off of it. Not real strong, but, but very much there, which is really, really pleasant. Really kind of bubbled and danced across my tongue nicely. Oh, yeah. This is 8.5% ABV, but only 18 IBUs, so very low hop character on it. I'm getting a lot of fruit off of this. I am definitely still get that apple presence, kind of like a, maybe like a golden apple, like some type of a green apple, not quite like a Granny Smith, but, um, and then the candied sugars, the Belgian candy sugars are there, not heavy, not over sweet. It's a nice, balanced, light, sweet flavor, actually. Well, wow, that's, oh, man, there's just a lot going on here. I'm going to take a minute, kind of analyze this and come back. Wow, uh, this one's just kind of tripping me out trying this. This is really fun. Um, not really my normal style. I, when I think of Abbey Ales, I think of slightly different flavors, but... This to me strikes me actually, in all truth, in terms of its taste, someplace between actually 
a Belgian dark strong and a Belgian uh, golden strong ale. Um, it has the fruit characteristics that I would get out of that golden as well as some with the dark. I mean, like I said, I'm getting some of the raisins, but these are lighter raisins, you know, like uh, golden raisins, but maybe a hint of currant in there as well. You're getting some sweet, a little bit of brenniness, almost a honey aspect. Um, maybe a hint of more like, a, like I say, a honeydew melon or, or some kind of melon there. Um, pear, hint of plum in that. Uh, uh, I'm going to say more plum than prune because it's lighter. And flavor is not that deep, darker taste. It's the lighter aspect of it. Um, wow, it's a little bit boozy as well, and there's a, a hint of breadiness, even though it's a really light body. This is a, a really, really nice beer. Um, I gotta tell you, I, I understand the style. I will never claim to be any kind of expert when it comes to the Belgian ales. I can't really say this is truly just a Belgian dark, even though in, in appearance it fits that characteristic because some of the flavors, like I say, go to that Belgian golden aspect. But what a delightful beer. What a fun beer. And I love when uh, brewers kind of kind of challenge things, kind of kind of do their own style. They're not really committing so much to one style or the other. and uh, They put their own spin on things. Um, and, and Christian certainly did that with this one and, and uh, his, his team of brewers over there. Um, fun, fun ale. I, I think I might have looked for uh, a little bit uh, more in the body personally. All right, so a rating for this. Really nice beer. It's obviously not going to be the best Belgian I've ever had, but I'm going to put it in the very good category. That means it's going to be in the upper 80s, and I'm going to give this one an 80... Seven, an 87, I think. Uh, that's right about right, right in that mid very good category. Which still makes this, like I say, a great, great beer to try. And um, my lord, and this one might be a harder one to get your hands on. If, if you like that thought of some of those Belgian aspects with a little lighter and a little bit of fizz on there, you know, some good carbonation, this is definitely one to give a go. I'm going to be... Uh, drinking on this for a little bit here, but here you go. It's Hopworks, and it is the Belgian-style Abbey Ale. Folks, life is too short to drink cheap beer. Just don't do it. <laughs> well, you know, you can, but I'm not into it. I will see you on another beer review. Cheers.